Hey guys, Mark Holmes here. And as always, thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. All right, this is going to be a crazy, crazy video here. I'm, I'm running around. I got got to do some stuff before the show tonight. Uh, pick up some more stuff. I'm still working on my man cave. This is a, a tough time, a year for players. Um, you just don't know. And you have players that have put in tons and tons of work, and their whole life has been about football. And then that dream, or that livelihood, or that thing that you've always had, ends. Sometimes you're not ready for it, and it's just the way it is. Every player is always one play away from being retired. And it doesn't matter when it happens. It's it's a hell of an adjustment for a lot of players. It's tough because you've always been getting yourself ready to play football. And it's a big, big void. And for some people, it's almost like uh, losing a loved one. Cuts are happening. And I'm sure Adrian Peterson wasn't expecting to be cut. Adrian Peterson is still a capable back, but I'm not sure unless somebody loses a running back that he will, per se, get signed at this point. And it's sad because you've always seen these guys as your hero. You, you look at a guy like AP, who's going to be a Hall of Famer, and you wish that he had had the opportunity to get a ring. And you think of Tony Romo, the way Tony Romo went out in his career, being injured in the preseason game and, you know, basically one series left to his career. Now, he's okay, of course, because he's got a great broadcasting gig. And it's tough, you know, because you have guys that have been part of your team and your franchise that you wish had won it all. And you don't want to see them going out the way they go out. And one of those people, I'm afraid might be Sean Lee. Sean Lee is one of those guys that he would have been a Hall of Famer if he could have stayed healthy, but his body was forever being the thing that kept him down. And as we look at the season and going forward, for him not being able to have practice for over three weeks with we don't know what injury it is, this may be where Sean Lee ends up being cut, which would be a sad thing because I, I've always, you know, Sean Lee, he, he wanted Joe Boo, okay? When he first saw Joe Boo, he was like, man, that's the coolest thing. Can I take him? I'm like, you can't take Joe Boo. And, and in fact, even seeing him years later, he's like, oh, I got to get a picture with Joe Boo. Sean Lee is one of those guys that is my ultimate favorite in Dallas Cowboys. And for him, if this is where he gets cut, and I'm not saying that he is, I'm not saying that he is, but in the end, you look at what you have on the field. You look at what it costs you, and you look at things, and that's, as I hate to say it, as Stephen Jones says, player acquisition is a 365 day a year job and your best ability is your availability and with Sean Lee missing all of training camp it's a possibility that he is cut but what I would say Sean Lee knows more about football than most of the coaches out there Sean Lee I remember there was a clip where the coach was like, man, why'd you do this? This is like, wait a minute. He was like, let me explain it to you. What you suggested that we try and do was not actually feasible. And here's why. This is what the situation was, blah, blah, blah. It was just like, oh. And the coach realized, I just got schooled by Sean Lee. Sean Lee would make a hell of a coach. And Sean Lee... 
you wish that you had more guys with the heart and soul of a Sean Lee that literally give everything they have on the field. And that's the kind of mentality that you want to have that you install and instill in the players on your team. And if you do feel that Sean Lee is not capable of being a plus on your team on the field, then you should look at having him as a coach, as an assistant coach, as an associate coach, as a junior coach. But that guy deserves to be there, not as a, you know, a token gift of charity, but as a guy who can still add value to your team. And this is where it's tough. Because every football player always feels like they still have more that they can do and more that they can give. Hell, as old as my ass is and as bad as my knees are, I still feel like I got one more play in me. I got, I got one more play still in me. Football, it's, it's a mother hump. It will batter your body and your soul at the same time. And it will always leave you wanting for more. I just wish for guys like Sean Lee, guys like Jason Witten, guys like Tony Romo and Debs, that you can leave with dignity. That the last memory that you have last play that you have is being injured or being cut. Yeah. Football is a bitch. Hope to see you guys tonight. 9 o'clock Eastern. Um, we're growing what we're doing with the Joe Blue Sports Report. We are learning some new tricks and doing some new things as we get ready for the 2020 season. 2020 is a mother home. It sucks. But what you have to realize is opportunities are still there. But you have to evolve what you're doing to fit the changing dynamics. And if anybody has wants my opinion that's exactly the way you got to look at things evolving and reinventing yourself to fit the changing narrative I'm Mark Holmes and well I got some work to do so let me get it done hate going to the store peace